are live on restart with King's German Legion up against Coalition Francophone. Match two of the semi finals. Everything is to play for. Either of these teams can make it to the finals. It's going to be an intense and close match. We're playing on Dornworth, one of the notoriously hardest maps to attack. The first objective, you can see in the background, is the castle. King's German Legion are on the defense. They lost last week based on time. They didn't take any objectives. Everything is to play for here. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you drop by in the future at twitch.tv slash the underscore Yazoo, where we do post-match analyzing. You can watch beforehand. We talk about strategies. We talk with the players, and you get to ask questions. Enough self-promoting, though. We're getting on board. We're getting on the board. The match is beginning. Co uh, Coalition Francophone is on the attack. You know who these teams are by now. King's German Legion is made up of three teams. You've got IR9, first championship winners. They're coming back. Can they make it to the finals? Can they defend their titles? They're joined in their team by uh, first AL and the WFT guys. Coalition Francophone is made up of a bunch of French, uh, French teams, clans. I can't remember them all off my head. But what we do know about Coalition Francophone, they're currently on a win streak. They have not lost a single game so far. Coalition Francophone haven't lost a single game in this season. They are up against arguably the best team they've encountered yet, aside from the 501E guys who played in their group. Everything is to play for. So you can see King's German Legion is on the defense. They're doing... Kind of the strategy that we mentioned before the match, where they're uh, group, uh, going out in smaller groups. It looks like they're going to set up perimeters around the castle. They're going to be a hovering defense. They're going to look. They're going to go out. They're going to probe, try find where the coal FR guys are coming from, isolate the spawns, cut off their spawns, and just be a mobile perimeter defense. They're keeping very few back in the castle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five people in the castle. So we've got one squad on the cap itself. The rest of the team is pushing out. No doubt looking to set a perimeter up. So we've got one squad heading south. We've got two, one and a half squads heading west. We've got one squad heading north. And then we've got one squad heading to the north east slash the east side so let's see what the french are going to be doing coalition francophone uh, they're coming out in force we can see them coming out of their base right now i can see three tanks it looks like they've got a recon vehicle and two heavier tanks we can see all transports are being used along with both msps one msp is heading east while one heads south in the south it looks like the recon vehicle We've got a free man stag hound with Boris Splatter, and I can't see the other name. The MSP is under fire already, so they've actually located the MSP. MSP is full. It took a, a few shots of machines on there, but no casualties. We've got Zark pushing forward on foot. Maybe he fell off the MSP. We've got two Churchills rolling out here. Oh, sorry, a Churchill on the Firefly. Two two mans. So. Already something the Coalition Francophone guys are doing different. They're making use of three tanks. Where last week, we we saw both teams only using two tanks. So this week, Coalition Francophone are going on uh, on the more of an aggressive approach with their tanks. Using all three. The mortar team's already been set up for Coalition Francophone. They've got a three-man mortar team. We got a brain carrier running a little bit behind. I'm not quite sure what that brain carrier is doing. Maybe just a transport looking to help support the infantry. I mean, it is hard cover. They could use it to push forward. The tanks already firing, and it looks like the MSP that was traveling south got hit by in a machine gun. You can see the tanks firing on the infantry here. The IR9 guys from the King's German Legion. They push forward. You can see their AT. It looks like there was a Panzer Strike there. Panzer Strike might have hit one shot on the Stag Hound because the Stag Hound has taken a little bit of damage. Not much, minor damage mostly. 
But this is what we mentioned. King's German Legion, they're not just going to sit back in the castle and wait for, for the Coalition Francophone guys to attack them. They're going to push out. They're going to be an aggressive defense force. They're going to try to find where Coalition Francophone are coming from, isolate them, and cut off their spawns. They're not just going to sit back and be pinned. You can hear those mortars coming in. Mortars are hidden behind the cap. Probably trying to kill the reinforcements or trying to knock out some rallies. We had the Coalition Francophone try pushing a squad from the northeastish side, but they were caught by the IR9 guys with their mobile defense sent on that perimeter, so they got cut out. There is a Coalition Francophone uh, phone squad pushing in from the southeast as well. There is very little defense over here. So. Coalition Francophone making use of those transport vehicles. As we said, they use every asset available at the beginning of the match. They've sent a transport vehicle all the way behind. They dropped the rally. And now they're slowly trying to push in from the south. You can see the smokes coming in. That's a actually friendly mortar smoke coming in for the uh, Coal FR guys. Trying to cover up their... Trying to give their infantry some cover so they can push forward. But they are being pinned by snipers. The King's German Legion know they're pushing in from that angle. And they do have snipers trying to pin them down. Over, back on the... That was a good shot there. Mope 03 going down to, I think, a tank blast. So you can see all the armor, all the armor pushing from the west. The Staghound, the Firefly, and the Churchill slowly pushing forward with two squads of infantry. Slightly more than two squads, really. More more, uh, more like three squads of infantry. So Cold FR are doing a big push on the west with all their armor. Supporting their infantry while a few smaller squads are flanked around on the north and south side. So, good use of tactics so far. Diverting the King's German Legion the tension. Making, it, uh, making the King's German Legion defense spread very thin. Allowing for a big push on the west side. If Coalition Francophone can secure the south here, the south and west side... That will give them a great position. Because then they can just bombard the, uh, the castle with their tanks. And start to push King's German Legion back further and further into the castle. Coalition and Francophone need to act quickly though. Time is not their friend here. The longer they allow King's German Legion to hold the area. The more it allow King's German Legion to get their MSPs forward. To get their rallies down. And it will slowly drain the tickets of Coalition Francophone. But I've got to say, this is a very good start for Coalition Francophone here. The use of three tanks all together has been great on the west front. You remember when we first looked at this, uh, the IR-9 guys pushed all the way out to where that Firefly is. They, they were very far out and already Coal FR have pushed all the way forward here. And they've pushed the defenders quite far. Warman M here, they've held out a couple of the uh, the attackers. We can see there's a squad pushing down on the south here, but they're under uh, MG fire. Hollis there with an MG firing down. Boba Fett pushing forward. Boba Fett is a pioneer. The rally is going to go offline. Boba Fett getting very close. Mus uh, Musu though taking him out. That rally is going to be safe for time being. Doria's Prime pushing forward. You can see the right. Look how far the rallies are out as well. This is what you need to do as the defending team. Meanwhile, in the southeast, let's call this, it looks like I'm going to guess this is Flavian's squad. They have run into a bit of an issue. They haven't really pushed far. They've kind of got bogged down near on the riverside here. They do have their rally up still, but they haven't really pushed as far as they want, I'm going to guess. They've been kind of pinned down there. Over on the northeast side, you can see this squad is doing a lot better. They've secured almost this large building on the northeast corner. The rest of the squad is pushing forward slowly. So little by little, Cole FR are pushing the King's German Legion defenders all the way back to the castle. And still, look at the time. King's German Legion still haven't got an MSP forward. But that MSP is almost here. In another 30 seconds, there's going to be an MSP there for the King German Legion. A great uh, strafe run coming down there. Unfortunately, it hit a tree. I think Exocet was hit, but it was a well-placed um, strafe run. It just unfortunately hit the tree. If it came in from any other angle, I think they would have actually got a few kills with that. Robin at King's German Legion is flanking around the side. 
He'll actually be able to get a good angle here. He might even spot the rally. No, the rally is actually well hidden. It's a sniper. One shot. Musu going down. Rob, uh, Robin would have seen the rally then. He gets another kill on Gron. Gron goes down. He just saw. And another kill. Exostate goes down. So Robin now with that sniper is able just to keep this rally offline. He'll be able to shoot anyone who spawns on that rally. That rally is effectively useless at this point. Robin's moving forward. Probably looking to try to get this MSP offline. He just wiped a squad pretty much on his own. Let's just hold here to make sure he gets it. Abby is nearby. I'm not, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Abby, 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 Abby. Last member alive. There goes the rally. The rally is offline. So this Cold FR squad now is uh, going to have to reset completely. Only the Brain Gunner is alive. They're going to have to fall all the way back. Get forward with a rally once again. Over on the south, we can see the uh, the squad that Flavian was made. They've pushed their rally. They've got a closer rally now, and they're getting further and f uh, they're getting closer and closer to the castle. They've managed to kill the few defenders from the King's German Legion on the south side. There is still a rally up. Markel, Markel running forward. Markel's going to find this rally. If he keeps on this direction, he'll be able to find this rally and knock it offline. And then the this defending squad will have to start spawning either on the MSP. Markel is running away from the rally. Very unfortunate. Will he keep going? He's, he is close enough. This rally will have just gone offline. I think it's 15 meters. He looks like he would be in 15 meters here. So Markel, Markel, he might not know it. He's actually just knocked off this squad's uh, rally, allowing Flavian to move forward. And you can see the King's German Legion, they're going to have to send other squad members now, other defenders, to clear Markel so that squad can spawn. Markel getting a kill on Durkan then. Marcus is still alive. Mikael. Running away from the rally. This rally. There it is. You see them spawn the moment they can. Dorius and Kaiser spawn. Michelle going down. Oh, very unfortunate for Michelle not to... Um, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I get this complaint every week. Very unfortunate for him that he didn't spot that rally. He was holding it offline. Dorius and Kaiser are now able to spawn. And they've cleared out the south. Flavian was killed. Very unfortunate that he didn't spot that rally. In the northeast as well, we can see IR9. They've uh, re-secured with Wasted Penguins. They've re-secured the north uh, east barn here. And the Cold FR squad is going to have to stop pushing down again through the trees. What's going on with the... What's going on over here? There's been a lot of casualties over here. So we can see the King's German Legion have a MSP up. It's not in a great place. The MSP is all the way over here in these trees. Look at the distance they're going to have to spawn. If their squad rally gets knocked off line, they're going to have to run all the way from over here. So what tanks do we see? We can see a... I, I don't know what happened over here. It was an... Um... A basic transport vehicle. That wasn't an MSP. That was a normal transport vehicle. I'm going to guess that's a German logistics truck. What are the King's German Legion guys fielding? So they've got two Panthers. They've got two Panthers. Great tanks. It'll be very, uh, it'll be very evenly matched between those Panthers and the Churchill and Firefly. The Staghound can do damage to the Panthers, but with the recent changes, it's going to be incredibly hard for that Panther to actually do any uh, any effective damage to them. Time-wise, just over 10 minutes have passed. Kolefar have done a good job pushing on King's German Legion. Let's head over to the west. So we can see this western push that was supported by all the tanks. At some point, the uh, Staghound got destroyed. Unfortunately, we missed that. But the Staghound has been destroyed. It did a good job at uh, supporting the infantry at the beginning. A Panzer Vaus going off there by Mr. Was. Mr. Was Gansen de Dumba. Can of Peach and his squad have pushed all the way towards the uh, castle. And what a good job they've done. You can see Kimsar just spawned on their rally. They've done an incredible job. When you think how far they've pushed IR-9 back, they've pushed the King's German Legion defenders all the way back to the castle on the western side. This is great for them. Now their tanks can move forward a bit more safe, able to support their infantry more. The Honorable Fisher moving in. Dukur is nearby hiding. 
in a bush. He might get a few kills. They're on a fish run. Is he going to spot him? Radio guy, motion four is going to run right on top of him here. That's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> the honorable fisherman goes down he was saved by antonio antonio might have revived him or bandu might revive him there i think the honorable fisherman actually jumped over him uh wham here with the mg doing a good support here that mg fire uh holding down that call of push a panzer files went out and hit the uh, hit this churchill the churchill took minor damage it's still in the green. It's not taking a large part of damage. Now it's taking a lot of damage. An incredible shot there. I think that was from Mopo3. That was a Panzer Strike. That Churchill needs to get out there now. One more shot like that, and that uh, Churchill might go down. Incredible shot there by, I think it was Mope. So that Churchill needs to get out there now and re uh, repair. They do have a repair station. It almost got hit by the Firefly then. That Firefly needs to be careful. That Firefly shot on the Churchill and almost took it out. Some uh, poor communication there. Well, it's looking very good for Cole FR at the moment. They've gained a lot of ground. They're not at the point where they can start capping yet, but they pushed the King's German uh, Legion defenders all the way back to the castle. And this is what they need to do. And if we look on the northwest side of the forest, look, there is no one over here. They can secure all this western ground. And then King's German Legion are basically fighting on the castle walls and on the moat. A Stuka, uh, sorry, a Mustang hitting a bomb on the castle. Ineffective though, almost killed Marco, but not really effective. Uh, Flavian squad in the south, they've actually lost their rally. Flavian is still alive. They might be able to get a rally up if they do some big gamer plays here. But Flavian and Nomad, the only ones alive in their squad, their rally was discovered. It has been taken offline. Boba Fett, Zillark, Assassin here, closing in. Dorius Prime moving down the trenches as well. Looking to finish off this uh, Cole FR squad. Dorius firing in the back. Nomad and Flavian goes down. Prime picking up two kills there. So the Cole FR flank in the south has been eliminated. And this is what we mentioned when we were analyzing tactics before the game. IR9 aren't going to sit back. They're going to locate. They're going to flank. They're going to isolate. That's exactly what they did. They had Boba Fett and Zark coming in from one direction. Prime and his uh, squad members moving in from the other direction. They located where Cole FR were coming from. They knocked off the rally and then they cleaned up the rest. So good job there for King's Gym Legion on the defense. Cole FR still doing a good job though. They're pushing in the west still. And they're starting to move more in the south. We can see uh, Badu, Arb. Uh, and Gron moving in the south, slowly creeping forward. We've got the Firefly. The Fireflies move forward. Oh, sorry. This is Church, uh, Stuart. Stuart just took a shot from a Panzerfaust. The Stuart's going to have to be careful. One trick will take out this uh, Stuart. Stuart, one of the best tanks in the game. Underrated. Underdog tank. you got to love the Stuart. A Panzerstrike there. Mope again with an incredibly long-range Panzerstrike just missing the steward the steward is retreating though he knows he's under fire and one sh a hit from a shrek like that and he will be going down in the north the cola far guys haven't managed to uh, capitalize they have been pushed all the way back we can actually see m pushing forward in the north looking to find where they're spawning if m can keep sneaking forward like this he might find the rally knock it offline and once again cola will have to reset and begin they have no spawns nearby all they have is a rally if we look on the map we can see there's a fob in the far south that's where the mortars are we can see an msp near the fob as well i can't see where their second msp is i actually can't locate where oh it's all the way back at main base so at the moment call of are only making use of one msp their other msp is all the way back at main base that might actually be a uh, tactic that they're doing on purpose they might be trying to minimize their loss of tickets. Obviously, an MSP is worth 10 tickets. And we said before the game begins, this might come down to tickets. The first game was incredibly close. And uh, Collision Frank Phone might know that. And they might be purposely only using one MSP to minimize ticket loss. We've got both Panthers pushing forward here. Who have we got in the Panthers? We've got uh, Coma Lord, Hunter, Nyx. And behind him, we've got Mobius. The first Panther took a big hit then. I think that's from a Churchill. That's an incredible big hit then. 
Both Panthers are working together. Second hit, the Panther's engine's gone out. The Churchill's taken minimal damage. He'll be able to get one kill here on Panther. That's going to be a huge kill if he can clean it up. One Panther goes down. Second Panther here with Hannibal and Mobius. Did the Churchill spot the second Panther? The Panther can't actually see. The Churchill has located the second Panther. The Churchill's first shot hit the tree just in front. Second Churchill shot just going over the Panther. Has the Panther located the Churchill? Has the Panther located the Churchill? Boom, one shot from the Churchill. This Panther knows he needs to get out there. He can't spot the Churchill. And that Churchill is deadly against Panthers. That APS can pierce so easily against these Panthers. We saw three shots to the first Panther. The Panther now just trying to put shots down around, maybe thinking infantry is close. Or maybe just trying to give a bit of a speed boost and cover so he can retreat. Yep. Yeah, second shot going out was a bounce, did minimal damage. Another shot from the Panther missing. You can see the Firefly in the distance now. The Firefly is looking. Boom, one shot from the Firefly. This Panther, a bounce from the Churchill. And the Panther goes down. King's German Legion losing both their heavy tanks. One shot was uh, sent out by the Panther. He actually hit a shot on the Steward. The Steward, very lucky. I don't know how that Steward managed to survive, but incredible work there from... Who do we have? We have Heroic Shot. Uh, we have Lucky Shot. Heroic Medic. Lavelle and Honor. Incredible work by them. Also the Steward in, uh, in support. Incredible work from them. And I'm going to guess the Germans have no more heavy tanks. If they're fielding two Panthers, it's very unlikely they have any more heavy tanks. If I know their tank decks. They might have a Tiger. They might have a King Tiger. We've got um, Marcel. Yep, that's not going to work for you, Marcel. Uh, good, good attempt though. That was a good attempt. Let's let's see if, let's see if he figures this out. Can he swim? Nope. He, bless him, bless him. Incredible tactics. Meanwhile, though, we can see this is what did we mention earlier? The entire northwest side was completely undefended. And Cola 4 has capitalized on that. They're completely on the west side now. They're fully on the walls. We can see artillery come down. The King's German Legion have thrown artillery now. They're, they're getting a little bit desperate at this point. They know Cola 4 are close to the castle. They know they're close on the west side. King's German Legion are on the are being desperate now with their defense. Cole FR have done an incredible job here on the west. They've taken down all the squad rallies. And we mentioned there is no MSP close for the King German Legion. They don't have an MSP close. And because they've got no F MSP close, there's, when they lose their rallies, that's it. They're done. They have to spend so much time running back. And now it's down to the last squad to defend the castle. All the, anyone who's left for King's German Legion at this point is a desperate defense for them. We can see there's a squad trying to reinforce, trying to flank from behind. Flavian moving in with Marcel. They're actually moving into the castle now. They're hiding underneath the bridge. There's the hedgehog blocking, so they're going to have to deal with that hedgehog. Cool. Cole FR doing an incredible job here. So far, they're looking very strong. King's German Legion have no tanks now. It's going to be a good five minutes before there is any armor support. King's German Legion are in a very desperate situation here. You can see the tanks now taking full advantage from Cole FR. They know there's no German tanks on the field. So they're making full use of their tanks. They push them forward to support infantry. Cole FR doing their best to push in. Flavian and Marcel were trying to get in underneath. Lancer here doing his best to hold up. It's down to the last squad really in the castle and the remnants of the King's Gym Legion to hold on. Keemstar pushing forward. We can see this flank though. There, there is a flank from the King's Gym Legion. They managed to get a new rally up. Let's just look. That German MSP is still so far behind, but look. I think King's German Legion have realized 
they need another MSP. They can't just leave that MSP so far behind. And we can see there's a second MSP pushing forward for the King's German Legion. But we can also see there's a French MSP now. Coalition Francophone have an MSP near Bell. So they might be looking to capitalize and get on the second cap. Call the fast still doing a good job. Mope here. Mope flanking. Can he get the kill? One beautiful shot there on the Firefly. Mope has done a great job this game being an AT with his incredible long range shots. That Firefly took a big hit. Another shot. It's going to be a frontal shot. A big hit on the Firefly. The Firefly needs to go get repaired. Mope is very unlikely to get the kill at this point unless he can sneak forward and get a mine. A mine. You can see infantry near the Firefly supporting. And there he goes. Mope. A good job by Mope though. He didn't take down the Firefly, but what he's done is taking that Firefly out of the battle. That Firefly needs to go back and repair, so it's going to be a good two minutes before that Firefly can come back and help the Coalition Francophone. And it looks like King's German Legion, with the flank from behind, with a flank coming in from the north, they've managed to take control again. Coalition Franklin was so close to breaking into the walls of the castle, the last squad inside managed to hold on. But King's German Legion are starting to secure the area once again. Can a peach? Running by, I, uh... I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Look how close he is. MP40. Is he going to wait? One kill. No mad goes down. McCancer, though, taking him out. Flavian also went down. But they can be revived easily. So, King's German Legion managing to hold the castle very narrowly. They almost were out of it at that point. They managed just to hold on. Coalition Francophone was so close to breaking into that castle. Taking that cap. An incredible spray there. A good spray actually got a kill there. That's a good Spitfire. I managed to take down Badu. So a good, good Spitfire there and got a kill. It's always nice to see a Spitfire actually getting a kill. There is a still a steward nearby. How much time do we have left? We've got 20 minutes left. As we said, this game might come down to tickets. And we can see, look how look how balanced those tickets are. 401 to 401. You couldn't call a closer game. And if those tickets stay that close, that means Coalition Francophone will go through to the finals. The King's German Legion guys need to start getting some tank kills here. They need to start getting some big kills. If they want to have a chance to win on tickets, they need to start taking out some of these tanks. They need some good artillery placement. They need some good bombing runs. They need something to increase that ticket lead. Coalition Francophone might start playing a little bit more steadily here. They might start to reserve their tickets a little more. They might tell their infantry to slow down. With only 18 minutes left, let's not start wasting tickets. Let's play this a little bit calm. We can still win this on tickets. We can actually see this... Uh, a, actually a push coming in from the east side though honorable fisher tonio rezel mr salty zark in the background and mad fox they've actually got a rally up in the uh what would this be this would be the east we can see that german msp that king's german uh legion msp we said they needed a new msp and that's what they're doing they're bringing a new msp forward where did that collision francophone uh, msp go it's disappeared it might have got destroyed he could have drove straight into a tank maybe and got destroyed because I don't see it on the field. So that second MSP might have got taken out. King's German Legion doing a good job bringing forward a second MSP. Uh, Zark and his squad might have heard it though. That engine sound would have been heard by Zark and his squad. So they might have been able to hear this MSP M spawning on it immediately. Good MSP placement there. Mr. Salty. It looks like Mr. Salty heard the MSP and he's going to go for it. What is Mr. Salty? Is he a pioneer? I'm not sure what he is. He's only got a rifle. It's hard to tell. But he definitely heard the MSP. He definitely heard the truck over here. Mo and M moving forward. Mr. Salty. I think Mr. Salty spotted M, so he definitely knows there's a spawn over here. Mope just spawned. That MSP is going to go offline if Mr. Salty keeps going. 
Been a little bit slower. Meanwhile, Colafar, they've continued to push in on the south and uh, south and east side. They've got incredibly close again. Piper all the way. P uh, where Piper is, you can actually start capping the flag there. Pixtech running right by CM. One balls and uh, Robin turning, getting the kill on Robin. Siam has found the rally. So, so Sam's going to be able to take out the rally. Mr. Salty, did he find the MSP? If Mr. Salty can take out that MSP or at least call it out. They can get a free 10 tickets by a Spitfire or a Bomber. Here are the tanks. Yep, we've got a Tiger 1 and a... What is that? P4, P3. I always get confused. A good hit then for the tanks. So we're actually getting another tank exchange. So Mr. Salty, and there goes one tank. That's a big loss. That's what we said they needed. King's German Legion taking out one of the tanks there. The Firefly returning fire, missing shots. That was, it was only the steward. So it was only five tickets. There's still the Churchill. There's still the Churchill and Firefly. The Firefly hit a shot on the Tiger. Bounce again. This could come down to tanks. Mope missing a shot there. One shot from the Firefly almost killing the P4. That P4 needs to get out of there now. There goes the P4. Mope, second shot. Minimal damage. It was a front row shot on the Churchill. Did uh, very minimal damage. It looks like Mr. Salty reported the location of the MSP to his tank units. Looks like the steward was trying to get in position to kill the MSP. But the... Uh, was that a one shot? I think Cole FR just one shot the tiger with a firefly. I think. I don't see anything else. We missed it, but I think the firefly just ammo wrecked the tiger, and that is not what the King's German Legion needed. Now, Mr. Salty, Mr. Salty definitely has reported the MSP. And there goes the MSP. Yep. Yeah, he reported the MSP to his armored group. So that is definitely what Coalition Frank Phone are doing at this point. Coalition Frank Phone are playing on the ticket aspect. And at this rate, with 13 minutes left, I've got to say Coalition Frank Phone will take the win if it keeps like this. But a few tiger, a few tank kills and it could alter it. King's German Legion is still in the lead with tickets. If, if King's German Legion can uh, get those tanks in an artillery blast, kill a couple of MSPs, then it could still go to them. But that was great communication there from Cole FR. Mr. Salty, knowing where that MSP was, he heard it, he located it, he called his tank supports in, and it was just by coincidence that the German tanks were also there, and that incredible job by the Firefly crew. Who is that Firefly crew? I've got to say, the Coalition uh, tank crew tonight have done an incredible job. It was... Lewell and Honnit. Incredible job by them, especially one shot in the Tiger at that distance. Incredible job by them. So, College of Francophones still on the plane at that combo. They are still pushing on the castle. And look in the north. They've pushed all the way on the north side of the castle again. They are on the wall side almost. So, College of Francophones aren't playing it slow. They're still pushing with their infantry. They're still trying to work on this cap. They're throwing smoke support down, trying to get in there. They're also pushing on the west side. They're still trying to uh, get ground on the south. The ticket lead, uh, the tickets are still very close. King's German Legion have a slight advantage. Only slight, though. It looks like Coalition Francophone have given up on the east side. I don't see any time, uh, I don't see any kind of support coming in on the east side. It looks like all the attention now will be on the north and west. I, I saw a tank over here. I'm looking to see if I can find it. I just saw a, it looked like a recon tank. Some kind of recon tank, a light tank. There it is. I think it's a Daimler. Is it a Daimler? So, Horus and Nerve coming in with a Daimler. Coming in very close to support the infantry on the north side. Actually doing a good job here. There's no defenders on this north side. Only the defenders in the windows of the castle. And that Daimler will be able to shoot HE into the windows very easily. To clear out the snipers. Might even destroy a rally with a good shot. King's German Legion, they pushed out on the south again. They've pushed Coalition Flank Phone all the way back on the south side. Churchill moving forward as well. Supported by a little bit of infantry and supporting infantry. 
putting shots in on the castle. The Daimler roaming around here. Probably trying to look for MS... Uh, sorry, rallies at this point and infantry. The Daimler's spotting people. He probably knows there's a, a rally spawn somewhere close because he just spotted infantry in front of him. So he might go looking for that in a second. Keemstar dead next to the Daimler. Daimler will have to be careful though. One shot from Panzerstrike and it will get destroyed. Artillery coming in. I don't know whose artillery that is. Oh, that's mortars, sorry. I'm going to guess that's King's German Legion mortars. That might be the uh, the KGL guys putting close range mortars down to make sure the Coalition uh, Frankfurt can't get on the cap. Doesn't make any sense for the Coal FR guys to put mortars on where they're pushing. Daimler still spawning the infantry, being a nuisance, and this is the advantage again. King's German Legion, uh, the Coalition, uh, the Coalition Francophone have KGL have no tank support, and it's very unlikely that they're going to get any more tank support at this stage of the game. Firefly and Churchill still working side by side. This is what we mentioned before the match as well, that we've seen a, 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 a change of mindset with Armoured throughout this uh, competition. At the start of the competition, we saw the tanks working independently. There was support infantry, but really tanks were work very independently. As things have gone on, we've seen tanks working more and more in coalition with each other. We've seen uh, tanks working as units. With usually one recon tank going around, scouting, just being a nuisance. And then the medium and heavies working side by side. Daimler found that rally, got a double kill, took out the rally. Wasted Penguins, melee and loser now. Need to get a, a rally or else they've got a long run. M is still alive nearby. Looks like, is Keemstar gone or is it bugged out? Keemstar might be waiting for a revive. M putting shots out. Canna Peach is close by. They would have heard M just shooting. There he goes. Canna Peach got the kill. M goes down. KGL. Looks like their squad over here is just trying to place down a new rally maybe. The Daimler doing another good job. Daimler finding more infantry killing them. Meanwhile, Call the Fall have got in the cap. We've completely missed this. Flavian and his squad have managed to sneak in. They're actually capping the point. If they could cap the, the point, this is incredible. Look at the five line Churchill pushing forward as well. They're just trying to get everyone they can now on the cap. Call the Fall starting to move in, starting to secure the cap. They're calling for more people to get on cap. They've done an incredible job here. If they can get more bodies on cap, look at all the blue names trying to swarm in. There are still defenders inside the castle. One shot on the Daimler there. Takes some damage. Horace got out. Horace goes down. He did get a kill. The Daimler's on its own now. There is an MG nearby, but the Daimler's on its own. And there goes the Daimler. The Daimler got destroyed. I'm, I'm going to guess that was maybe Moat. I'm not sure who destroyed that, but it was definitely an infantryman. Colifar are actually taking the cap. If they can hold on to the cap now, that would be incredible. With seven minutes left, there's plenty of time for them to get the cap. King's German Legion have thrown all the bodies they can at this. They really want this. Colifar going like... Colifar decided, you know what? Screw the tickets. S screw trying to win on tickets. We're playing to win the game. We're playing this game properly. We're going for the cap. We're playing the objective. We're not playing around. And they're doing an incredible job. King's German Legion, all they've got left are people inside the castle. Collision Frankfurt can't actually get inside the castle. But they've taken the courtyard and the barn building. Dude is the only one alive in the courtyard and barns. Dude is doing his best to hold out the outskirts. Neutralized. The cap is neutralized. The Firefly needs to be careful here. The Firefly might roll into the lake and actually get destroyed. <laughs> that Firefly is going to have to be careful. King's German Legion are trying to throw bodies forward. Look at them go. Artillery. That has got to be... King's German Legion artillery. KGL probably from the artillery to try, try clear out some of the Call of Fire guys. The cap is neutral. The tanks here are trying to cut off reinforcements. The Church on Firefly are trying to cut off the uh, KGL infantry re uh, reinforcements. They're doing a good job at it. As long as they work side by side, they'll do a good job here. The engine for the Churchill just went out. Engine for the Churchill gone, but he managed to get a kill on Siam. Siam goes flying through the air there as he gets blasted directly by a HE. The Firefly now trying to put shots into the church, uh, into the castle. KGL are starting to lose infantry inside the castle. Marcel went in there by the looks of it. Artillery coming in. 
Is that smokes? I think that's KGL just trying to throw smokes, trying to throw anything they can to try kill the infantry here. We can't see the progress of the cap, unfortunately. But Cold FR do have more infantry on there, and they're able to get infantry on there quicker than KGL. That was a Mustang coming in. Spitfire's coming in now. Trying to stop any infantry reinforcements getting on the cap. The Firefly from Lavelle and Honnet moving to try cut off all reinforcements. I think this is Call of Fire going to get the cap. I think Call of Fire is going to secure this first cap. They did lose a lot of tickets due to losing infantry. But if they can get the cap, that is going to very likely secure them the, the victory here and place in the finals. Mope. Mope. One man army at this point trying to take this Churchill out. Mope goes down though. He got flanked by infantry. Mope did a, uh, trying to take out that Churchill. Mope's done a good job tonight with his long range strike shot. It's been incredible trying to get them. Let's look at the cap. It is still neutral. It's anyone could take this. It looks like King German Legion have started to push Colafar out of them again. That's artillery coming down. That is uh, French Colafar artillery trying to kill reinforcements. The Firefly is almost being destroyed. The cap is still neutral. King's German Legion have thrown anything they can to hold on to this cap. They really do not want to lose this cap. The Firefly is below half health. The Firefly is going to say, you can hear planes, bombers, artillery. Everything is being used at this point. Everything is being used. Colafar need to be careful with these tanks, though. If they don't get the cap and they lose these tanks, they're going to lose a lot of tickets. They're going to lose a lot of tickets here if, they, if they're not careful with these tanks. There goes the Firefly. This is what we're seeing. They need to be careful with these tanks. They neutralize the cap, but it looks like they're being pushed off. Kingstream and Legion are going to hold on to the cap. And they lost a lot of tickets in the progress there. There's a 50 ticket deficit now. There's the defense. King's German Legion have held the defense. How much time is left? Four minutes left. KGL hold the cap. That was an incredible late push there from Cole FR. But it wasn't enough. King's German Legion used everything they could to hold on. And they just managed to do so. That squad in the castle. Incredible job by them. By holding on by the skin of their teeth. There is a Cromwell coming forward now. Don't think that Cromwell is going to be very effective at this stage of the game. If I was Cole FR at this point... I'd look at the time, I'd look at the tickets, and I'd be like, let's stop. Pull the tanks back. Pull the tanks back. We're not going to get the cap. We need to retreat our tanks. We can't risk losing them. This is going to go down to tickets at this point. There's going to be a battle of tickets. There'll be, have to, there'll be some maths afterwards to see who is going through to the finals. Pronounce it Marcel. Marcel, there we go. I've learned. Cromwell getting a few extra kills here. Just putting down uh, shots. 50 ticket difference. There's a 50 tickets difference here. Colafar need to be careful. If they lose like Churchill, if they lose the Cromwell, that's just 10 tickets right there. Mustang coming down, trying to get a few infantry kills there. I think a body just flew by me. Oh, the Tigers are full. We've got... Actually, I, how did I not see these? There is two... Yag Panthers forward here. I mean, if the Churchill sees these tanks, that's going to be some easy kills for the Churchill. Two minutes left. People are saying, GG, this isn't over. This isn't over. This is not over. People are saying, GG, prematurely. There goes one shot from the Churchill. This is what I said. These tank kills will be easy for the Churchill. APS onto some Yags. One Yag is almost down. Its engine's out. So that Yag isn't going to be able to retreat. One Yog. How is that Yag still alive? That second Yag Panther needs to turn and quickly help. There goes one Yag. Lucky shot and heroic. Some incredible spotting by them. One Yag goes down. So that's a big, big loss of tickets there from King uh, King's Dream Legion at the end of the game. Needless tickets lost there. Is that a Stug? That might be a Stug. I always get the Yag and Stug confused. But that's tickets they didn't need to lose. Now they're trying to spot the Churchill, but the Churchill's gone. Churchill's not going to stay in the same place. He's out of there. We have less than a minute la uh, left. King's German Legion, very unfortunate for them to lose a tank at the end of the game there. They were, gain they were getting a big ticket lead. But that tank has brought the tickets back... 
closer. Only 40 tickets in it now. Look at the Churchill. The Churchill's flanking around, looking to spot to see if he can get another tank kill. He probably knows there's a second tank because they've been working side by side all game. The Yag has no idea. You can see Hannibal. Hannibal knows where the Churchill is. Hannibal's trying to chase where the tank is. Trying to support the uh, Yag. And there's another t a vehicle kill there. Um, I think that was just a basic transport vehicle. It could have been a Lodgy. Either way, that was 5 or 10 tickets that the Churchill just got for free then. God, the tank crews tonight for a Coalition Francophone have done an incredible job here. The Coalition Francophone tanks have done an incredible job. 20 seconds left. 30 tickets. Don't quote me on this, but I believe with the, uh, the tickets, that means Coalition Francophone will be into the finals. The last... Last assets being used here. Two seconds left. That is game. King's German Legion managed to hold on. They didn't lose the cap. 217 to 245 tickets. Here are the, the tables quickly. You can uh, you can pause the VOD if you want to look at these. This is gonna turn this is gonna go down to tickets. We don't know who's going to the finals. We're going to, there's going to have to be some maths to, to, to decide who is going to go to the finals. Incredible work by both of these teams. Kings German Legion and Coalition Frankphone. Two incredible teams. What a performance here tonight. What an intense game. I'm going to end the stream here. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and make sure you drop by the channel twitch.tv slash the underscore Yazoo. So you can watch live. You can be more involved. If you're watching live now on Twitch, I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to remove the delay. And we're going to try interview both teams. So don't go away. Hang there so we can watch the post-match interviews together. See you next time. Which love.